What is going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today the title is Warning Bitcoin Holders. You have been warned. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day today. Today is January 9th, Tuesday at least for me. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good night for many of you. We have been waiting for one of the biggest news that are actually going to be coming out tomorrow, the Bitcoin ETF, right? So starting off with Coindesk, they say Bitcoin ETF could see up to $100 billion in inflows if SEC approves standard. So uh, <laughs> this is actually quite crazy, right? So there is going to be a lot of money inflowing. Uh, I definitely do believe that ETF is definitely going to bring in more volume and more volatility into the space. I don't think it's going to go ahead and, and push, you know, Bitcoin to $100,000 as a lot of people, you know, think. I think we're in a market where um, we're, we're reaching some sort of tops. And this is just not for Bitcoin. This is for the D DXY, which is a dollar index. And this is also with the US 100, the NASDAQ, and in other words, the Dow Jones, right? So these are not things that I'm coming up with is not John waking up and saying, you know what, let's go ahead and be super bearish on Bitcoin. I've been quite bearish on Bitcoin these last couple of days. Uh, obviously, yeah, we have to go ahead and use some clip base. So uh, can Bitcoin be dumping down tomorrow by $32,000? I, I don't know. Uh, we're definitely going to go in and see how the market reacts. I do believe we are going to follow be followed by a correction, though. So in my opinion, I, I do believe that we will be reaching the top soon. Will it be tomorrow? I don't know. Does Bitcoin hit 100000 tomorrow? I don't know, right? Nobody really knows. I think retail is over speculating everything that's going on at the moment. But with that being said, if you are tuning in onto the live stream right now, go ahead and do me a huge favor by smashing that like button for me. And if you are brand new to the channel, I do want to go to say welcome. Turn on post notifications for me if you do enjoy my content. I literally do content. Uh, I live stream twice a day, and, and the goal is to go ahead and push to three videos total. So two live streams and then one video, which would be like an evergreen content, right? So I, I will be pumping a lot of freaking content these next coming months I'm very very excited for what the market brings us obviously as a content creator uh, the bullish the more bullish the market is the the quicker my channel grows um so realistically you know being on a bull run is the best thing to happen because once we start transitioning into that bearish scenario uh, the channel does decline as well right so obviously i would love the bull run to be going on forever because not only does everybody make more money but the channel grows very very quickly as well right but unfortunately that's not the case when uh, i i don't want to go ahead and be pushing just straight bullish scenarios when we're getting quite bearish uh quite bearish sentiment in the market right but with that being said anyways i hope all of you are enjoying today's live stream let me go ahead and start sharing my my live stream on discord real quick so let me go ahead and post this real quick give me one second we are now live come show me tokens market seems a little slow today too as as what we can see so let's go ahead and see who joins us today Let's see if we can do another Twitter page. Can we do another one? Let's see, where is it at? I'm in so many freaking groups, bro. Show me tokens. There you go. Awesome possum. So, dude, I can't wait for these entities to be released. So freaking fire. Let me go ahead and pull out my live stream now on my end on my phone. Steven, how's it going, my guy? Glad to see you again. Glenn, how's it going, bro? Long time no see. ETM of Approve. Watch Guru say the ETF was approved for all. Watch your Guru says the ETF was approved for all. Yeah, I do believe so. I mean, I mean, there was like what a ninety percent chance that the ETF would get approved. So it's 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 uh, to no surprise. How's the lighting, by the way, dude? Is, I feel like the room's a little dark in here. That's a little better. Hmm. All right, there we go. Yeah, so uh, the ETF being approved is no surprise. There is a very high probability of the ETF being approved. Uh, to me, the only thing that you know continues to give me a red flag as I continue to say so is uh, we are reaching the 618 Fibonacci retracement on the 48,200. 
So we're going to go ahead and see how we do tomorrow on this. I, as I mentioned, I think there's a probability we could break past 48200 on Bitcoin and even reach $54,000. And then I think eventually we will go ahead and have some sort of market correction. And that's just not me telling you this, right? This is like literally all the good traders. If if a lot of you listen to good traders that, that trade these markets, a lot of them are, are momentum trading, so meaning they're trading the hype and they're exiting their trades but long term a lot of these or midterm if you want to call it a lot a lot of these traders that i respect are also seeing that saying the same thing as me right they're saying that that uh, bitcoin is reaching these areas of resistance and it's just not bitcoin right so i'm not the only one saying it I, uh, there's also a lot of traders that i respect that are saying the same thing so i'm assuming i'm going somewhere with this information i've just been quite bearish these last literally over 12 days i've been calling solana when it reached that top uh, Bitcoin, uh, I, I tr switched my stance on Sunday talking about some sort of massive pump due to the fact that we saw the market, you know, end on a, on a green on a Friday, which typically does not happen if, if, if the stock market is not going to be bullish. So, so far, you know, uh, can Bitcoin, is the Bitcoin ETF, you know, denied or approved? I'm pretty sure it's going to be approved. Uh, I don't see any reason why, uh, as a lot of you are saying that it has been approved. Uh, worst comes to worst, we see a delay. That'd be probably the only thing, and the market overreacts more than usual. And then the second case scenario is that it gets approved, retail gets super excited, uh, more euphoria continues to kick in. We go ahead and test 48,200. We might either go ahead and get rejected right here, and that's over for Bitcoin, or if we have enough retail sentiment pushing this scenario even higher, we will go ahead and see $54,000 Bitcoin uh, before we do go ahead and reach some sort of top. So yeah, my 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 titles are pretty clickbaity, but this is just a warning for everybody that's getting overly optimistic and overhyped. I, I really don't, I don't understand your narrative, honestly. Like uh, I welcome all opinions, but I, I just don't understand what's so bullish about what we're seeing right now in the market. Yes, we do have an ETF. Yes, we have the Bitcoin halving. Yes, we also have a presidential election. So there's a lot of big things coming up this year for Bitcoin that typically we don't have follow, right? But we're hitting the 618 Fibonacci very closely. We're also seeing the DXY now finally coming to a reversal. Uh, we're also seeing now the Dow Jones reaching some sort of top that is getting closer to uh, the US 100 as well. We're gonna go ahead and see if it breaks past his resistance. There's two case scenarios right here. We either reach this area of resistance and we get rejected tomorrow and that's over for the stock market. Or what we could go ahead and see, which is this very, very similar thing that I, I think is gonna happen with Bitcoin, right? We go ahead and break past through the resistance. Retail continues to get very euphoric, very, very excited. All the fame companies continue to go up. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And then next thing you know, a retail is left holding a bag as usual. And then we see a correction in the market uh, where Bitcoin will correct, in my opinion, down to $32,000. I think that's ideal. Some people are saying $35,000. I'm saying $32,000. And once we get the retracement to $32,000, I do believe we will go ahead and have the dip bought out pretty quickly. Overall, you know, Bitcoin correcting, it's a very bullish sentiment in the market. Um, this is not just based on, on my analysis. This is based on what we're seeing in the stock market. The stock market is also reaching higher highs. So there's, it, we really have to come down. It's, it's whether you agree with me or not. Will it go ahead and be a delay where, you know, we see the market continue to pump and then eventually we reach the top and then it comes coming down 100%. So maybe, the, you know, the top isn't tomorrow. Maybe the top is in a week to two weeks, right? But we will eventually reach this top where the whole entire market corrects. Uh, I don't see the stock market uh, going up any higher because we will get to that overbought territory on the RSI, which typically every time we get to the zone, the market always corrects. So uh, regardless of what many people say, I, I do think that this thing is uh, it's going to correct. And once we get the correction with, with Bitcoin, I do think that a lot of more investors will go ahead and buy into the opportunity of what we're seeing right now uh, leading into the Bitcoin halving. So I do believe, in my opinion, that uh, as soon as we get this Bitcoin correction, we will go ahead and, and see a lot more money inflowing into the market, which is obviously bullish for crypto and it's bullish for the altcoins. But once we see that Bitcoin dominance shifting from Bitcoin and we see that that dump on Bitcoin, we're going to go ahead and see a lot of that money start pouring in, into the altcoins. Right. So uh, many of you should actually be cheering for <laughs> some sort of uh, some sort of retracement. Right. Because it's bullish for everybody. It's, it's bullish for everybody that trades altcoins It's bullish for everybody that trades meme tokens. So the, the sooner Bitcoin 
and and Solana dump, dude, the, the quicker altcoin season and meme coin season is going to come in where most people are going to make their money. You know, I really doubt there's a lot of people that are holding on to huge bags of Bitcoin where they're holding on to half a million or a million and above on Bitcoin. And even then, if you're holding to a half a million to a million dollars in Bitcoin, it, the kind of returns you will be getting, they're not as big as you would be getting with with uh, with altcoins. Right. So I, I do believe that regardless of the case, uh, we will go ahead and get some sort of retracement i don't know when but we'll see i think if we do go ahead and get a retracement i think we could have a consolidation period of about anywhere between two weeks max i believe i think that's like the max that we could go ahead and do even pushing into 28 days because if you see once once we had this retracement back over here uh, back in 2021 as we found the top we literally consolidated for about almost 30 days if you want to call it 25 28 days before we had the next leg to the upside right so i do think there could be something very very similar but we also have to keep into consideration we also have the bitcoin having right so we're going to go ahead and see how this thing goes i think we could go ahead and realistically break past 48,200. a lot of people are going to be caught by surprise and then we're going to have 54,000 probably be reached that's the top that's if you know the, the stock market continues to go up as well and then we're going to go ahead and see some sort of collapse where we see bitcoin slowly coming all the way down to thirty two thousand dollars we're going to go ahead and slowly climb our way up into the beginning of september which would be around summer so i do think that the next pump we'll see for bitcoin will possibly be around around summer in my opinion unless we have the bitcoin having where we have another pump we see Bitcoin make $70,000 and then we see the collapse going into summer, which could also be the case. And then we have the, the pump coming back up around, um, what would it be, October, December, and then that would be the top of the market, which I highly doubt, right? I think I think this market might actually take us by surprise and we actually might be extended. Maybe the bull market starts 2025 to 2026. I don't know. Maybe it's it's, it's a three-year market. Who knows but typically a lot of people say it's always two years when we see the bull run but depending on how things are going uh, because of the Bitcoin having we could prob probably have the, the the bull run extended another extra year or a year and a half which could take us to 2025 to 2026 where the actual bull run happens because right now we're, we're seeing a whole a whole decline in the market right we're seeing a decline where where car sales are going down retail spending is going down inflation is going up higher interest rates will go ahead and get cut and as well we have the u.s presidential election so we have a lot of reasons as to the reason why this market should go up but it could also go ahead and mean that it, the the market's going to be extended and it might, it might not be here sooner than we expect maybe worse comes to worse this is the top for bitcoin you know forty eight thousand dollars or fifty four thousand dollars where we have let's say six months of consolidation or eight months and then we have the pump once again in october november leading into december and then that's really the official the, the official bull run cycle right where we go ahead and start mooning so there's two case scenarios you know bitcoin makes new all-time highs uh we everybody gets you know impressed and surprised and we hit eighty thousand dollars and above we go ahead and correct the 40 to 50 percent retracements then we have the altcoins run up and then we have the meme tokens start off a little bit later so there's definitely a lot of scenarios but for me the things that i'm keeping my eyes on that just doesn't make any sense is the dxy the only way this market will continue to pump is if the dxy collapses which would require the us dollar to collapse and i don't think the us dollar is going to collapse anytime soon especially due to the fact that we do have this presidential election coming in, in the us so i really doubt they're going to go ahead and, and let whoever they choose in office to go ahead and have uh, already starting off the year pretty bad with wrecking the market right so this is the only case scenario that i believe that that bitcoin will pump to crazy crazy new all-time highs is if the dollar does lose its 99 uh 99 point what is it the 99.588 area of support and then coming all the way down to 88 that in my in, in my opinion will indicate some sort of dollar collapse happening and we haven't reached these levels since 2021 right so that would mean a lot. In my opinion, what I think is going to happen is I see Bitcoin doing some sort of move like this or the DXY at least doing some sort of move like this where we have either two case scenarios, right? We continue to get, you know, the DXY gets rejected. We see Bitcoin or sorry, the DXY come down to 99, which would cause Bitcoin to pump very, very high to 54,000 and above. That's one case scenario. 
the other case scenario for DXY is we go ahead and see the DXY continue to break out. We reach the 104 and then we continue up to eventually reach where I once said the DXY will be reaching, which would be around $115 and above. So I do think inflation will continue to go up higher. I do expect more wars and everything going on this coming up year in the next two years, especially with this election going on. I do think there's going to be a lot of volatility. So I think the DXY might do a move like this where we reach these zones. Eventually, once we reach the zones, I think even 150, as you see, this is my price target. This would mean like the market's getting super wrecked. Uh, that That's like a uh, that's pure recession right here we're reaching the dollar at 132 dude this is going to be super super bad for the economy overall and this is the reason why i do see a possibility of the market taking a massive massive hit and if this was to happen that would mean that the that the bull run will be delayed at least for another year year and a half right where this was just all hype and the bull run officially starts at the end of 2024. So that would take us to the DXY being at these higher levels. Obviously, if we see the DXY at these higher levels, dude, this is gonna be really, really scary for the economy worldwide. As I mentioned right now, we are seeing car sales declining. Used car sales have already dropped, uh, at least their prices have already dropped under like over 40%. MSRP under cars, the same thing. The housing market right now, it's uh, it's super overextended. We're, we're seeing the commercial real estate market also taking a dip, and it's going to be followed by residential real estate coming soon. So everything is just adding up. I, I don't I don't know why a lot of people are bullish. If anything, uh, you know, this actual recession coming in is going to be bullish for the market. But in the meantime, I do believe we could, could still go ahead and experience some sort of sell-off and shakiness in a market with volatility. And then eventually, once we reach the top on the dollar, which I don't know where it's going to be at, maybe it's at 108, maybe it's at 115, maybe it does reach these levels of 130 and 150. Once we reach this top of the dollar, once we go ahead and see a dollar collapse, I think this is where we're going to go ahead and see a huge, huge bull run where Bitcoin makes new all-time highs. But in order for us to do that, we need to go ahead and see the dollar finally reverse because the dollar can fall down any lower. Like, I don't care how much you want the dollar to drop. It just can't. It just, uh, you know, technical side, it just it just won't happen. Uh, we can't be expecting that anytime soon unless, as I mentioned, unless some crazy, crazy black swan event wants to happen where you know the dollar just collapses then yes uh, we could go ahead and see bitcoin make crazy new all-time highs but i don't see that happening unless there's a crazy crazy black swan event that does shake up the market causing the dollar to to dump and that's the only way i would go ahead and see the dollar come back to these levels down to the 90 and and lower even 80 89 i mean look at this this is back in 2018 so back in 2018, this is where the dollar was heading towards, right? So in order for us to see some sort of dollar collapse or deleverage from Bitcoin on or an hedge, if you want to call it, we would have to see the dollar fall below, in my opinion, down below to the $88, which I don't see that happening with this presidential election coming in. Probably once they're in office, they'll probably go ahead and, you know, pump the market up, print more money, put more money into the stock market, which would make sense. And then eventually we'll have another another run. But even with the US 100, which it's uh, somewhat correlated to Bitcoin because it's it's kind of like a tech sector, right? We're also reaching some sort of high very soon. So the only thing I see this happening, it's either we get rejected in the next two days, which would be tomorrow. I mean, we'll go ahead and have the, the, the ETF news be a sell off or we'll go ahead and have it make new all time highs. And then as soon as we reach the highs and, and retail is getting even more excited because they're going to be like, John, I told you so the ETF was going to be freaking bullish. And, and they're and we're going to hear the told you so stories, right? They're going to be like, I told you Bitcoin's going to $60,000. You've been the biggest bear, bro. I'm buying Bitcoin at 60 grand. And there's going to be a lot of people probably buying at the higher level. Same thing with the fan companies, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And then eventually we're going to go ahead and reach some top in the stock market too that would go ahead and push bitcoin down as well so it, it's going to happen regardless you want whether you want to agree with me or not and, and this thing goes the same way with the us 100 is it going to find a support right here is it going to be finding the support right here or is the support going to be somewhere over here no one freaking knows right so we're going to go ahead and see how things go but the us stock market is also reaching a top dxy's showing a reversal bitcoin is hitting the, the 618 retracement on the fibonacci on the fibonacci Bitcoin is hitting the 618 on the Fibonacci retracement. So like everything's just kind of adding up, right? So 
I, I guess the only news plus i forgot to mention we also have the fear and greed now at extreme greed which we haven't had in months bro like extreme greed we haven't seen these levels in forever right so everything's screaming for we we we're needed for a reversal we're, we're needed for some sort of correction but yet people are going to go ahead and say the opposite uh how's it going my guy uh, Steven, you created a goal for me to try to leverage trading trading out gonna start learning awesome, man uh, I'm gonna get back into leverage trading too, bro right now. I wouldn't recommend leverage trading the market uh, A lot of people might be longing this market, but I think right now it's it's very very important That's what I actually had a conversation with Billy by the way So shout out to everybody in the channel right now that master glam burn on we have a lot of mods here By the way, I really appreciate every one of you uh, right, what I've been talking to Billy about was I, I, I was I got off the phone with him this morning and I was like, bro, honestly, like I'm probably gonna take a break from trading for a few months. I'm probably gonna take like a, a three month break and I'm just gonna go ahead and do deep dive like on just charting, back testing a lot of my a lot of my uh, analysis and really looking at how how I can improve as a trader, right? Because there's a few little things that I still need to go ahead and tweak up. And I mentioned uh, to all of you yesterday on the live stream that the two things that I believe I need to fix on myself is my discipline and fixing my greed levels, right? So those two things are very critical when it comes to leverage trading and trading in general and also investing, right? So moving forward, I'm gonna go ahead and be focusing a little bit more on education. So I'm gonna be, you know, taking courses on, you know, you know, back testing and, and all of this. I'm going to be going back to the basics, right? Why? Because if this does happen where we do go ahead and see the market pump and eventually the market does does collapse, I would rather be buying the dip, dollar cost averaging on a lot of these tokens and just hitting the books, bro. Honestly, that's what I would rather do. So when we have the next opportunity come up and we start making money again, I have a better mindset when it comes to, to all of this, right? And the thing is with trading, it's really just trial and error. And it's really understanding what works for you, right? It's it, that it's really like you're gonna lose money no matter what. It, it's it's not it's it's not a matter of are you gonna is there any way to not prevent yourself from losing money from the beginning? You're gonna blow up probably a lot of accounts. You're probably gonna blow up a lot of money. But the thing is, is being consistent, right? Are you going to be able to stay consistent and still go after your goal? Like for me personally, even though I've lost so much freaking money these last couple months. Uh, for me, like I just enjoy trading so much and it's like a challenge. It almost feels like it's like, dude, I have to freaking like like beat this challenge, right? And this challenge really can't be beat. It's like you have to be improving all the time. And I've noticed that that as soon as you stop, you know, learning, it's usually when you start failing, right? So th that's why right now moving forward, my strategy is going to be dollar cost averaging into a lot of these higher cap altcoins. This is the reason why I'm doing the switch into uh, higher cap altcoins and midterm altcoins or mid cap altcoins uh, for the reason that I want to go ahead and focus a little bit more on dollar cost averaging just in case that we do go ahead and have this retracement on, on Bitcoin or the market where we finally see a top. I would rather just be dollar cost averaging man or even shorting if I really want to but I might I might just take a break from trading for a few months maybe like two to three months until I feel comfortable back again and then I'm going to get back in but till then I'm just going to focus on dollar cost averaging a lot of the tokens that we talked about there's a reason why I'm pivoting away from the meme tokens and then once meme coin season comes in then we could go ahead and start playing with the meme tokens uh, again right but my goal moving forward this year is to provide you as much value and the only way I could go ahead and stay up with the markets is by learning and educating myself right so when i come in here and i talk about what i'm talking about it's because i'm i'm daily uh, every day i'm educating myself right so i will go ahead and go back to the basics go back to reading freaking my technical analysis books that i have right here bro that i haven't read in years back in 2017 when i got interested into the stock market so i'm going to go back to hitting the basics uh, get back into getting my psyche level up and running when it comes to trading because it's all really psychology and and being disciplined and staying sticking to a plan right so right now moving forward i'm focused on just stack, stacking up cash dollar cost averaging when i do feel comfortable once again with this market i'm going to go ahead and, and continue to leverage trade but as of now because of what we're seeing in the market i want to go ahead and see how people are going to react once this etf uh, gets approved so apparently the etf is already approved now i want to see how people are going to react People were getting overly, overly optimistic with, with Bitcoin back at these levels right here. Now that we have the ETF news, how are people going to react? Are they still going to be optimistic? Are they still going to be screaming for $80,000, $100,000 Bitcoin? I don't know. Are they going to go into the next narrative, which is wait till the Bitcoin halving happens? It always pumps. So that's what I want to go ahead and see how the market reacts. As I said, it, it, we are at the 618 right here, uh, retracements, and we're getting very, very close. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a pump later on uh, tomorrow or tomorrow. So do be aware of that. 
but uh, we are getting closer to that 618 retracement. So we're gonna go ahead and see how that is respected. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and witness the market. I, I feel a little bit more bearish in the market, I'm gonna be honest. And, and for that reason, I would rather just do what's guaranteed right not really it's not guaranteed nothing is guaranteed especially in the space but i would rather just just wait for a lot of these projects to start dumping and just start dollar cost averaging that that's going to be my my play moving forward i'm going to go ahead and start loading up on a lot of these DeFi projects um long term bullish um short term bearish but long term i think 2024 to 2025 let's say even 2026 uh, with all the with all the things that I mentioned, just like when there has to be a top, there has to be a bottom. And right now, the DXY is showing us that the, the, the bottom has been reached. Same thing with the stock market, same thing with Bitcoin. There's going to have to be another bottom again, right? Meaning it, it should be time to now quadruple down, in my opinion, on financial advice on a lot of these projects that you believed in. Because in my opinion, once we get this correction, to me, that's going to be the sign that the bull run has officially started. And I'm going to go ahead and double down on everything that I'm doing, right? Double down on content creating, doubling down on my trading knowledge, uh, doubling down on everything that I'm doing moving forward, right? Why? Because the signs are in in, this, in, in, our, in our faces, right? We're seeing what the Fed is doing. We're seeing what they're going to be doing. We, we see that there's a lot of big red flags moving into the future that will push Bitcoin to higher highs. And I do believe we will see Bitcoin at $100,000 when? I don't know. Maybe 2025, maybe 2026, maybe in another five years. I don't know. But what I could tell you is that also we will be seeing some sort of dollar collapse, which will then be following with the stock market collapse, which will then, in my opinion, finally be the deleverage from Bitcoin in the stock market and will finally be a hedge against inflation, right? So a uh, long term, I'm super, super bullish, guys. I'm also going to be longing the stock market as soon as we go ahead and see this drop. I'm going to be longing a lot of the tech sector companies and a lot of these Bitcoin miners. Uh, so for anybody that, you know, is in the stock market, I would recommend as soon as you start seeing some sort of uh, correction, I would start longing a lot of the crypto miners. I'm going to start longing um, crude oil as well. And I'm going to begin to stack up on silver because I, I do think that uh, what's coming up, a lot of people are not seeing. You know, it's uh, it's going to be a crazy, crazy time. A lot of money to be made, though. A lot of money to be made. So I don't want to be sitting here and scaring any of you. But what the market brings us in the next coming years, it's going to get freaking crazy, bro. It's going to get worse. But for the market, for the people that are exposed to the stock market and to the crypto market, there's going to be new millionaires and new billionaires being created. So prepare for this opportunity. Uh, don't panic when we do see a correction. This is the reason why I use these clip bait titles because I need to gravitate people's attention, unfortunately. And I have to go ahead and, and make my point very quickly, right? So if you're still watching here and, and you're listening and you are brand new, welcome to the channel. I do quite the opposite, right? Um, back when Bitcoin was at 20 something thousand dollars, I was really, really bullish. Uh, back over here when Bitcoin around this zone right here, I was bullish on Bitcoin. Everybody was calling for Bitcoin to be at $10,000, $7,000 around the zone. I was calling for Bitcoin being at forty dollars to $50,000 at around this area right here. A lot of people were calling me a futter. John, you don't know what you're talking about. John, we're going to collapse. It's over. I was saying the opposite. Well, guess what? Bitcoin pumped. I called for a short squeeze. It happened. And now I'm bearish. Why? Because not when I was bullish, everybody was bearish and now that i'm now that everybody's bullish i want to be bearish so you want to do quite opposite of what the herd is doing and right now we have retail being overly optimistic and i just showed you all the reasons why you should be concerned right this is not just me putting it pulling it out of my head and, and saying hey guys bitcoin is going to crash no i showed you the reasons why i'm showing you the signs the signals that we're getting and if you want to go ahead and uh you know, listen, you can do so. If you don't, that's up to you. Uh, but we're going to go and see how it goes tomorrow. Uh, as I mentioned, moving this year, I do think there's going to be a, a lot of volatility either way. And you should be even more doubling down as soon as you do see corrections. So I wouldn't want I wouldn't push anybody to panic. Uh, this is the reason why I make these videos. So you won't panic. So when it happens, you're like, oh, snap, John told us about that. No surprise. And you're buying the dip. I have Vernon, long time no see, my guy. Hope you're having a good one, bro. Glenn, Gary Gunster says the SEC, the SEC Twitter account was compromised. It's funny, dude. Been a while, buddy, but I'm here now. Nice. Uh, check out this token. I find it potential considering the team is committed and the community is rather strong. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go and check it out. 
Give me one second. Let me go ahead and pull out the live stream right here so I can read the comments a lot quicker and pull out the smart contracts. Let's see. So feel free to show me any tokens, chat. now that I got kind of like my point out the way, I, I pretty much said everything I had to. So just go ahead and show me tokens just like Vernon did and then post a smart contract down below. Uh, so he says he's bullish because of the team on this one. Elon Musk, Starship, meme token, token on Solana. Nice. Yeah, so when it comes to meme tokens, there has to be a certain way to be bullish on. Uh, I, I'm not really good at choosing these meme tokens anymore. This is kind of the reason why I'm stepping away from meme tokens this year. Uh, that, that was actually my New Year's uh, resolution this year is, is to step out for meme tokens. So if this is something all of you are interested in, definitely go ahead and enter at your own risk. Uh, we do see the market cap quite low, which means there's a very high opportunity when the thing does pump. And we are seeing a retracement overall with meme tokens, though. And, and that's just due to the fact that we're seeing a lot of the money inflowing into Bitcoin right now. People are getting really, are getting super excited on the on Bitcoin right now. So all that money is flowing back. I do believe meme tokens will go ahead and start to pump as soon as we see a lot of that money out of Bitcoin come out and go into the meme coin sector. So, but as I mentioned, I'm not going to be touching for me personally any meme tokens. There is a lot of people here in the community that do such as vernon glenn dat master so if you want to go ahead and you know get some plays from them you can go ahead and join our discord down below i'll go ahead and provide this the 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 link right now but they usually go ahead and talk a lot about meme tokens right here we also even have a server right here that is solely dedicated just for meme tokens where is it at somewhere over here hey, oh right here so we will go they will go ahead and be posting on the discord server a lot for the meme coin plays or you can literally just watch it on the stream right so let me go ahead and do this never expiration generate new link and you can go ahead and take advantage of that as i mentioned for me i'm just going to go ahead and take a break what's up how's it going mohammed hope you're having a good one bro i'm just going to go ahead and, and take a break from meme tokens because uh i, I just want to go ahead and focus on something else i want to i want to focus more on my technical analysis that's that's what i enjoy more and that's what i enjoy the most is ta i'm kind of tired of meme tokens being unpredictable so for me personally i'm just going going to step away from the meme tokens for a while until we get bitcoin dominance to fall below 48 percent then that's when meme coin season starts and that's where for me personally i'm going to get back into the meme tokens but till then i'm just going to focus on building up my bags on a lot of these mid cap uh lower cap altcoins and also just stack up some money so when i do see some opportunities to long this market i could go ahead and leverage trade with a decent account i want to go ahead and leverage trade with at least at least three to five thousand dollars if i could do that if i could save up three to five thousand dollars in the next couple of months and then start leverage trading again i'm gonna have a pretty nice uh, portfolio trading these higher cap altcoins right with with the lower risk so that's what kind of my goal is moving forward uh, but we're gonna go ahead and see how the market reacts right starship launch is taking place this month so it could definitely do something the only negative thing i suppose is the something members don't have the best english uh vernon have you been making some money back john no dude i've lost way too much freaking money i've lost way too much freaking money bro I've, I've lost way too much money these last couple months like that that's why i'm, I'm taking a break i've been losing money since freaking since freaking grok bro I lost way too much money. I've literally been losing money every freaking month. Every month, I've been in a losing month streak. Since, literally, since I got my breakthrough on November, and then I got I got into Grok, like, everything I just touched just dumps, bro. I'm just I'm just so done right now with the market that right now I'm not I'm not trading anything. That's why I'm taking this, this trading break. I, I'd rather focus on just stacking up my money, dollar cost averaging, and then when I come back into the market, I'm, I'm going to come back with a bigger bag uh, when it comes to futures trading. So I am looking to go ahead and fund my account this next time, and this is the reason why I'm taking the break. I'm looking to go ahead and fund my account for futures for with at least, I want to I want to start trading with at least three to $5,000. And that's kind of the reason why I'm also taking a break because in the meantime, as I'm stacking up money, I'm going to go ahead and start building up my bag for futures and, uh, yeah, it's, I'm going to be taking a lower risk, right? I'm not going to have to do crazy insane leverage to make money because with, with three to, if you could go ahead and stack up, you know, two to three grand, maybe even a little bit more, a leverage trading is a really good amount. With, with 10x or 20x is really, really good. Uh, even if you do the 5x or 10x, it could be pretty decent, right? So 
that's why I'm staying away right now out of the market just because I've been in a losing streak and I just been chasing losses after losses, bro. So like I'm just taking a break. I just need that. I just need that mental break, at least for my trading ability to continue to perform, bro, because, uh, you know, if you continue to lose, man, if you continue to lose money. Not only do you try to chase these 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 losses back, you try to make all your money back. But also, it kind of messes up your 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 mentality, right? It messes up your freaking your your mentality when it comes to this. When you're getting losses after losses after losses, you're not actually taking a break and understanding why you're losing money, right? So right now, I'm doing a deep analysis as to what I'm doing wrong, and for me, that's why I'm not touching meme tokens anymore. I'm not talking. I'm not touching meme tokens on leverage anymore. I'm taking a break from those. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be focusing on moving forward as soon as I come back from this trading break, I'll still be doing content. I'm just not going to be leverage trading for a few months, at least two to three months. I'm going to just dollar cost average. Uh, I'm going to only focus on leverage trading higher cap altcoins and I'll be trading Bitcoin now. I'm not going to trade meme tokens and I will start trading meme tokens until meme coin season begins. But until then, my main focus is going to be leverage trading Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the higher cap altcoins. I'm, I'm done leverage trading meme tokens. Uh, it's, it's too much risk, bro. It's, it's good to make money. You can make some really good money leverage trading meme tokens, but the cons to it is just way too many cons, bro. Like for example, when you're trying to exit a position, there's been times, like for example, I was even live when, when, I, when I was up $30,000 on Pepe2, I tried closing out my position and I got closed out at $8,000. So I literally all my all my freaking money gone, bro. All my money gone. Then from eight thousand dollars, I grew my account back to twenty thousand dollars in like literally one day. So the next day or two days later, I grew my account back to twenty thousand dollars. From twenty thousand dollars, I ended up putting all that money back into Grok. And then as soon as I got Grok, Grok got exploited, lost literally all my money. Um, and then I had about two thousand dollars left. I put in two thousand dollars left. Fell asleep because I was so freaking tired. I woke up in the middle of the night to trade, and then I got liquidated on Pepe two. And then I just had the last liquidity grab on Pepe two again, and I got wrecked. And with Pepe two, I had I put a stop loss at a three hundred dollar loss, and Mexi stopped me out at six hundred dollars. So it's it's just the meme tokens. You're they're so volatile, bro, that you're never gonna get stopped out where you want to. Your take profit is never going to be where you want it to because it's so freaking volatile that the exchanges are gonna close you up at a lower or higher price, whether you're long or shorting. So so you're like almost destined to lose money on these exchanges. And I don't know if it's an exchange issue. Uh, this all happened obviously with Mexi. So like literally these last couple of months, I probably lost over fifty thousand dollars, bro, trading. Literally because my 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 take profits wouldn't hit, uh, my stop losses wouldn't hit, or they wouldn't close where I wanted them to close. And I thought this was normal until I started seeing all this fud about Mexi, and that's kind of the reason why I'm like, dude, okay, dude, like, what the heck, man? Like, I'm trying to you know do proper risk management, and now when I put my stop losses, I'm getting stopped out at a lower price than I initially had wanted to. Like, dude, I, I blew up my account because my stop loss didn't hit, and, and for that reason. I think it's a meme token thing. I don't think it's an exchange. I think it's just meme tokens because they're very, very volatile and they lack liquidity. So if you're leveraged trading with $10,000 or $20,000 with 20x leverage or, or whatever the case is, I think that's what causes you know the volatility in the market. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm just giving you the benefit of the doubt that they're the meme tokens. That's why I'm going to go ahead and step away from the meme tokens and start leverage the higher cap altcoins, but I'm also going to be using a different exchange. And moving forward... I'm going to be focusing mostly on this exchange right here, which is Bing X. Uh, I haven't used this platform yet, so I am going to be funding and I'm going to be trading all my money now moving forward on Bing X. I will still have Mexi around. The benefit with Mexi, bro, is that Mexi is known for always releasing meme tokens, right? Uh, but they also were once the lowest fees on the exchanges. Now they've actually raised their fees. So with Mexi, dude. I thought I, I thought I was a problem, but when I'm seeing a lot of people fud about them losing money through Mexi because of their stop losses not getting hit or they're not, them not being able to pull out their money, them having the same issues that I've had these last couple months, I'm like, okay, dude, it's either the meme tokens or is a freaking exchange. It's one of these two, bro, because I thought I was going to drive myself crazy when I'm like, dude, I could have sworn I, I had more money in profit. Like there was a there's even this one time on Wojak that I was trading Wojak. And I was up like 
$1,500 in profit, I tried closing my position and it wouldn't get filled. I ended up getting filled at an $800 profit and my profits were $1,500 for that day. So I had to take a big L instead of closing $1,500 for the day, it closed me out at $800 profit. So this tells me it's it's either the meme tokens that that are that are so they they lack so much in liquidity when you're leverage trading them that it's very hard for you to like close those kind of big positions. Like you were leverage trading with a thousand dollars and above with meme tokens on leverage, it's very difficult to close, man. I was I was leverage trading Wojak with I think six thousand or three thousand dollars with ten or twenty x leverage, which would put me at a twenty thirty thousand dollar position. And I couldn't even clear $1,500 profits, bro. Like, you can't make this thing up. The same thing happened to me with, with, with Pepe 2.0. When I tried closing my position at $30,000 profit, it closed me out at $8,000. It happened to me multiple times. Multiple times this thing happened to me, right? And then I'm hearing the FUD with Mexi going all around. And I, and I reach out to support. They're not doing really much. So, like, I'm seeing this thing all across the board. And I don't know if this is a Mexi thing. Or this is a meme token thing, but this is the reason why I'm I'm kind of stepping away from the meme tokens because I've lost a lot of money leverage trading meme tokens because my positions wouldn't get closed where I wanted to. They wouldn't get filled. And I'm assuming it's because of the lack of volatility, right? So I don't know, man. We're gonna go ahead and see how things go with Mexi. If Mexi continues to fun, obviously if, if bad things continue to go with Mexi, I'm just gonna go ahead and step away from the platform, especially if they do offer KYC. I'm going to be completely done with the, with the exchange and I'm not no longer going to be trading on that exchange. So that's why moving forward, I'm working on getting my getting my Bybit situation fixed. This does require KYC, but I heard Bybit's one of the best exchanges. And then I'm going to go ahead and transition to Bing X. So if you want to go ahead and support the channel, use these links down below. I will still be using Maxi, but I'm mostly going to be sticking to spot trading. But with all the FUD that we've been hearing and what I just told you with, you know, me taking profits and me not being able to get stopped out, the only benefit I see with Maxi right now is the, the no KYC and the fact that you can leverage trade all the way to 200x on meme tokens. But the problem is getting closed out, <laughs> you know, the spreads. And, and that's my only concern with Maxi right now. And that's the reason why I'm making the pivot to Bing X and I'm going to be working on my KYC so I could go ahead and get KYC with Bybit. I'd rather do Bybit, dude, do KYC and get and, and, and go through all that BS than go through an exchange that, yeah, it's great, no KYC, but then get wrecked when it comes to closing out my position. So I'm sure a lot of you probably witness a very similar situation. Uh, I was holding Star, Starship for a while, I was it a few days ago. How, what was your entry, uh, Glenn? Vernon says, yeah, your entry point was not the greatest. I got it. I'm careful watching at the moment. It could pull a size under right circumstances. Nice. I got it at a recent dip. What is this Gary Gensler uh, status? Let's go ahead and see this real quick. Let me go ahead and pull out this Gary Gensler status. Where is it at? What's up, uh, Black Ranger? I really, dude, I really doubt the ETF is going to get denied, bro. I, I feel like the ETF is going to get approved. I, I'm, I'm the biggest bear, dude, and I'm telling you, I think the ETF is going to get approved. Uh, I don't see it not getting approved. The only thing I could see it is, is probably getting delayed, and that would cause the, the market to over panic. But regardless, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if the ETF gets approved. You know what I mean? ETF news was fake. Just came in. ETF approval was fake news again. SEC Twitter account was compromised. That's BS, bro. That is freaking BS. Like, like, there's always something. Oh, compromise. Oh, this thing happened. Oh, sorry. Dude, how does the SEC Twitter get compromised, bro? The SEC got hacked, bro. This is freaking ridiculous. You can't make it up. As Steven says, what are your main things I should learn about uh, before even starting to trade anything. Uh, Steven, I think your best bet would just honestly just tune in onto the live stream. On the live streams, you'll learn a lot, bro. I go over technical analysis the most simplest way ever, and you'll definitely go ahead and pick up to it very, very quickly. I think most people that, that don't understand T TA, I try to put it in this perspective where you will understand it. Uh, so I don't do anything too crazy. So I would just say like the best thing to go ahead and focus on is I would go ahead and get a, a nice little bag to get funded. I would say no more than a no more no less than a thousand dollars. I would say minimum to start trading. Uh, if you could do more, like if you could do like two thousand dollars, that would be ideal. Three thousand dollars, that would be great. But I would say no less than a thousand dollars to start leverage trading. And I would focus 
on on the on the psychology aspect first that that's what i wish i would have done because you could go ahead and sit and do a lot of uh like i could go ahead and give you uh, some alpha right steven like this is what i used to do i actually kind of learned how to do um forex trading first that's how i kind of got my knowledge into into trading and this is actually a a website that you can actually learn uh, it was for free i'm not sure if it still is for free but you, oh, they actually have crypto here too. I didn't know that. I'm gonna start going back into this. See, I didn't even know they had any of this. Uh, I haven't used this platform in years, bro. But this is how I learned how to understand trading, and this is how I was learning was through this platform called Baby Pips. So I'm giving you guys a lot of alpha, man. <laughs> I'm giving you guys a lot of alpha. So for all those that are listening right now, and they're like, "Hey, John, what is the be best platform to learn?" I learned how to trade through uh, through forex trading. That's how I really learned how how to do all this. I'm not sure if this is uh, still free, but you can go to different. Like you see kindergarten, elementary, it tells you support and resistance, Fibonacci's, moving averages, and you go into all of these classes, right? I'm not sure if it's free. I think it is last time. I haven't used this platform in years, like years, like probably over like four years that I've used this platform. And let's see how they do with crypto, dude, because this is actually pretty cool. I'm going to have to run through this, bro, because beginner's, beginner's guide with Bitcoin. This is pretty cool, man. This is freaking sick. It's just very, very, very basic courses, though, like Beginner's Guide to NFT, Guides to Trading. Let's see what these courses are. Introduction to Crypto, Trading Principles. This is actually bull. Dude, this is freaking alpha right here, chat. So, like, this is what I'm going to be focusing on in the next two months. I'm going to go back to retouching my Forex because a lot of this is very, very similar, right? Forex is just for it's a foreign exchange market. It's, it's a trade of currencies, right? Uh, the only difference is between the stock market and the crypto market is the volatility. Uh, but they move very, very similar, right? So this is where I would start first, completely free. I would just stick to coming onto the live streams as much as you can. You, I think you'll learn a lot, in my opinion. And if you use this platform, Baby Pips, which I'm going to go ahead and start running again. I'm going to go ahead and start using it myself. This is where this is where I would go ahead and focus on. I would focus on coming up with a thousand to three thousand dollars. If if you could do three thousand dollars, like three thousand dollars is not too much of a push. I'll do three thousand. But I would go ahead and fund my account with a thousand to three thousand dollars. Just have your money sitting there, and then just learn. Uh, just go through this. Go through all these courses right here. I would, I would go through the forex. Uh, you'll learn a lot about how forex works. And then you can go ahead and pivot onto the crypto because from the crypto side, it, it looks like they just kind of tell you like little things like more of the blockchain kind of things like what is Bitcoin? How does mining work? Uh, and this is what I would recommend all of you. And it's completely free, dude. I, I don't get paid. I wonder if there's an affiliate link for this because if there is, I, I definitely want to be freaking part of it. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll look into this, man. I'll look into this. There's an affiliate link I could guess. I can start shilling this because... This is how I learned, you know what I mean? This is how I learned uh, how to trade was I learned how to do Forex trading, never really traded Forex, and I just went back to trading stocks. Uh, but I, I learned through um, through learning how to trade Forex. Uh, Forex, in my opinion, is a lot harder than the stock market. I could be completely wrong, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but uh, And that's just because you're trading with better traders. On the Forex market, bro, you're trading with institutions and banks. <laughs> you know, the stock market, you're, you're, you're trading with a little bit of both. The, the crypto market, you're trading with, with, uh, with mostly retail. Now, there's a higher percentage of retail, I'm assuming, on crypto. But what, with Forex, dude, it's mostly institutional money. So uh, they move the market different ways. So it's different ways. But I would recommend this platform, Baby Pips. I'm going to see if I could get a, affiliated with them or something to share this because this is um, this is the way I learned how to trade. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and retouch all of this. And I do have a few courses, too, with Andy from Bitcoin uh, Senses, which has a pretty good course, too. Uh, I'm, I'm going through that right now. And I'm also going through another course in crypto so uh this is just for me to become a better trader and become better overall when it comes to doing my technical analysis ryan how's it going my guy hope you're having a good one today bro vernon says the pump was not even started yet wait till we get a confirmed date for the starship launch the eth version of starship got a five million market cap with a hundred dollars gas fees with a team nowhere near as active that's insane bro Honestly, Starship, Starship will probably do, especially if the Starship goes well. Mohammed, how's it going, my guy? Glenn, uh, you think I might be onto something or am I being delusional? I think you might be into something, my guy. Glenn, it happened to me on XNA. I got liquidated before it reached my liquidation price. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm telling you. See, I'm glad I'm not the only one hearing these kind of stories because uh, what a lot of people don't understand that as a trader, um, 
when you start when you when you're in a losing streak bro you start losing your confidence sometimes in yourself right you almost like start losing your, literally your mind you're like you start questioning like am i good at doing this like like should i continue to do this like what am i doing wrong and you're just like trying to like think back at like everything that you did wrong you could have fixed and there's sometimes there isn't things you could fix sometimes it's not even you sometimes it's the platform sometimes it's a token you're trading right uh, so i think as a trader that's why i'm saying like I, I think the mentality to it is it's one of the biggest things when it comes to this and when you get on a streak like when you're in a losing streak a lot it does affect you mentally a lot and and that's why i would recommend you know understanding the psychology uh there's this one book called the intelligent investor i believe it's called a really really freaking good book i would recommend reading those kind of books i think there's this other book called uh, trading in the zone which talks a lot about the psychology of trading i'm actually going to go trading in the zone and this is actually the book that helped me like make a lot of money when i was trading pepe 2 bro when i was when i was freaking trading pepe 2 I, I i was listening to this book as audiobook because i have this on audiobook i prefer audiobooks and this thing like literally got me trading in the zone bro so like i'm going to go back to the basics and i'm going to go ahead and listen to this audiobook again um, and I do have a few books like that. I would recommend Audible. I think Audible is like one of the best platforms. It's, it's kind of pricey. It's like 20 bucks a month, I think. But in, in my opinion, I, I do believe it's it's um, it's definitely helpful. So right now I do have a few books. I'm really big into, you know, reading books. I also listened to the, I was listening to the book, The Richest Man in ba Babylon. I heard that one's a pretty good one, but I have Trading in the Zone right there, which I already finished, which I'm going to go ahead and redo again. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and redo that one. Another really good book, I would say The Way of the Wolf by Jordan Belfort. Uh, if you're into sales, I think that's a really, really freaking good book. So for me personally, I'm, I'm into, you know, self-education. That's I think that's one of the biggest things you should be focused on. And this one's really good, bro. This is a freaking good book that I'm not sure if a lot of people know, but this is how to un-F yourself. This, like... This is a life changer, bro. Like, like this book right here, I read this back in the pandemic. And as soon as I read this book, bro, like when I got back to myself, my sales job in the jewelry and because I used to be in the jewelry industry, I used to be a, a, a jewelry salesman, sales rep uh, working for a pretty big uh, jewelry company. Dude, I came back killing it, dude. I was like in the freaking zone, just like freaking making all these sales going back because the thing is, if you want to become better at something, you need to go ahead and educate yourself and, and really invest in yourself. And I would say the, the biggest thing you should do before you start trading is invest in yourself, invest in your knowledge, invest in in courses if you can. Uh, I just gave you a freaking free course at the moment right now. So I unfortunately don't have a course to sell you yet. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll have my own course to sell you. Uh, but for now, you know, go ahead and use baby pips, bro. It's a completely free. Uh, you could go ahead and use other influencers courses. I haven't really come across any, uh, but most of them are over, you know, $1,000 and up. So this is your best bet right here. This is some alpha babypips.com. I'm not endorsed. I, I'm going to look for an endorsement or something because uh, I, I could definitely go ahead and and provide some affiliate links to that but baby pips is a platform that helped me back in the, back in the day bro like over four years ago and i would recommend like audiobooks unless you could actually physically sit down i have adhd bro so for me it's very difficult to sit down if it's something that's uh like a book i'm not able to do that anymore i used to when i was younger when i was like 16 or in 18 i used to sit down and read books now I can't. I prefer audiobooks, and I usually do audiobooks like when I'm going out for a walk, when I'm waking up, brushing my teeth, or when I want to just go ahead and relax. I'll just go ahead and listen to my book, and I, I think that's the best way you could go ahead and and take on audiobooks. And you could multitask, right? Like if if you're able to do emails and and listen to your audiobook at the same time instead of music, I would recommend a book. Like that's what I would do at the gym. I would I would go on the treadmill or in the sauna, and I'd be listening to podcasts. Or, or reading books that's that's what i would say overall it's educate uh investing yourself that would that would be the biggest investment i would recommend before you start trading that's what i wish i would have done first uh, because if you go ahead and do the opposite where you go ahead and start you know just diving in throwing in your money you're gonna lose money and then you're gonna freaking drive yourself crazy bro hey black ranger how's it going my guy i've heard a lot of sentiment on Do doge one and star one especially for the rocket launch those are the ones you're looking at nice steven says that's sick bro i'll check that out i got around 1.k to start with yeah dude i would say 
just deposit or save that 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 money i would recommend obviously not financial advice if you do put your money i would recommend probably bing x uh, this is a platform that i'm currently uh, i'm currently going to be using moving forward uh, and if you can do the this is a no kyc so this this literally takes you less than three seconds to create an account bybit does require a kyc but this is one of the best best exchanges the only issue with bybit is that it is restricted in some regions so right now i'm getting my kyc situation and and getting all of that handled so i could go ahead and trade on bybit uh, but for the no kyc i would say go for bing x i would recommend be a maxi but with the issues that i just told you that i've had personally uh, as a beginner, I would just say try Bing X, bro. Honestly, I, I think that that'd be your best bet. And trying on Bing X for now, uh, deposit your money. Obviously, it does help support the channel, but overall, I wouldn't recommend trading yet. And it, and and the only the only way I really make money on these links, chat, is if you actually trade. So <laughs> ideally, I would want everybody to click the links and actually deposit money and trade, because that's the way I make you know money is by you actually trading, like you actually taking trades in the market. But I wouldn't recommend you to trade just yet, bro. I would recommend you hit the hit baby pips, man. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to like DM me on Twitter at Altcoin John, uh, which my Twitter is somewhere over here. Um, and you can also join the Discord. There's a lot of very knowledgeable people here in the space. Glenn's really good at TA as well. He's called a lot of plays. So we have Billy Blockchain, that's really good. We have uh, Dab Master, who's a developer. He's 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 really good with the mining and and all those kind of things nfts as well so we have very we have a lot of very knowledgeable people in the space man especially in our in our community uh, gary Gensler says the sec government twitter account was compromised and if not authorized twitter was posted the sec has not approved the listing of trading of spot bitcoin exchange <laughs> oh my gosh bro how the heck do they start getting compromised every freaking time like it's always something it's always a news article getting compromised or something dumb right crypto black ranger says i don't leverage trade at all yeah leverage trading is one of those that i i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend everybody to do it i think it's one of the best ways to make money but it's also one of the best ways to lose all your money so i, I wouldn't encourage leverage trading to be honest if you can't handle the volatility and you can't handle blowing up accounts and losing money like crazy, I wouldn't recommend leverage trading. Re leverage trading is a, a very high risk, high reward, but it also depends on your trading strategy, right? But for me personally, I think leverage trading can make you a lot of money if you understand how, how to pivot in a market. Uh, I, I did see this tweet yesterday. I wanted to go ahead and talk about that. I didn't get a chance. This says... I've talked to people associated with the top VCs. I'm about to share with you one of the biggest bets for 2024. Secret projects revealed. Real alpha from VCs, LSD, and lending. We have perps and dexes, game five, L1 and L2, RWA, which I don't know what the heck that is, and AI. You know how we've been talking about game five and AI and dexes? So this is actually quite interesting. So how now we're seeing it from somebody else, right? I'm gonna go ahead and retweet this. And now we're gonna go ahead and see what this person shared uh this was actually shared from my research team so we're gonna go ahead and see what we're seeing with these tokens lsd and lending we have mkr which uh, who was in mkr bro i remember mkr was someone was telling us about mkr this thing's freaking ripping dude i think this is like over 1600 dollars if i if i'm not mistaken so we're seeing that right here so lending's a big thing perps and dexes in full bull and bull or bear markets perpetual and decentralized exchanges remain attractive to traders yielding profits we have uh joe trader joe's we have run i don't know what any of these are dude to be honest besides joe these are all dexes we have game five game five is fueled by catalyst including the launch of long developed projects that are entry for new players into the market is one of the main sectors of the bull runs gamers everywhere uh, so i've been talking about gaming for a cool minute too and uh what else we have this i've been talking about this one too for for a while i don't know any of these tokens besides guild five l1s l2s projects are built by chains quality chains course attract more quality builders building an involved community each chain is better suited for different applications for instance injective for DeFi sector we've been talking about injective for a while tia metis we were literally talking about metis uh, literally, I think it was yesterday we were talking about Metis. I even told you how I'm actually yield farming on Metis. I put in about like $70 in this to go ahead and test it out how it works. 
and yeah this is this is so far what we're getting in return so far we're getting about 34 freaking cents bro but yeah, we have about a 7, 78% APR, and this is on Meta's blockchain. So this is the reason why I'm focusing more on, I don't want to say utility, because I guess, I guess it is utility, but I'm just focusing on diversifying my knowledge right now in, in crypto, right? So when we get this bull run going on, I want to understand how to use these platforms so I could go ahead and navigate very, very easily, right? How to bridge into, you know, Meta's blockchain, which is kind of difficult. I'm not going to go ahead and lie to you, but everything's a learning curve, right? So I'm learning how to use Metas right now. I'm trying out a few things in the background. So this is the reason why I'm telling you, uh, you should all focus on education at the moment until we go ahead and see what the market does. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and share this, honestly. I'm just gonna go ahead and share this link. This is actually something that my researcher team actually gave to me yesterday that I forgot to share. But I, I do think this, this could be something that a lot of you could go ahead and, and appreciate and save because a lot of these a lot of these venture capitals are investing into these projects uh steven says i joined your discord bro by the way i was trying to do some e-coin e-com you think i should rather focus on one thing for example going full in trading or doing both i would recommend doing one thing bro that's just me personally I would say that if you focus on trading, you have a higher chance of making money right now. But I would, this is what I would tell you, bro. Uh, what what do you prefer, and what would you like to learn? If you want, if you prefer econ, maybe you might do better than econ on than most people, right? I used to do econ, and the problem that I have with econ is is you have a lot of headaches to worry about, right? You have headaches about refunds. You have headaches about researching a product. You have headaches about you know the advertising, and the advertising goes right or wrong. You have a lot of trials and errors before you actually make money. And for me personally, what I've noticed with e-com, it's going to cost you at least a minimum anywhere between five to ten thousand dollars. So, so you're going to spend probably ten thousand dollars unless you're doing drop shipping. And with drop shipping, now you got to contact a good supplier, and now you have to worry that your supplier keeps up with quality, right? So now you have quality trouble. So let's say you make, you know, ten thousand dollars a month selling a product, but now you get refunds on like half of that money. Now that money that you thought you made, now you have to go ahead and refund it to all the customers, right? So you might be probably barely breaking even with 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 econ. I have done a lot, bro. I have multiple businesses since I was younger. I tried, uh, I had an econ business, reselling, uh, Supreme and all that kind of designer stuff at, at a very young age. Then we had the market switch where Supreme wasn't as profitable anymore. I had bots, I had proxies, I had VPNs. And that thing costs a lot of money to maintain. And then you also have the taxes of shipping of the products. And then you have to go ahead and worry about the refunds if people don't like them. Then you have to go ahead and worry about shipping the actual material unless you're drop shipping. Uh, but they all have a lot of headaches. In my opinion, I wouldn't freaking touch econ right now whatsoever. That's why I love trading, bro. Because trading, you can literally invest $1,000 right now. You can make $10,000. And the only person that you can really fault is yourself. You can't blame no one else. You can't blame your product, <laughs> your product being good. You can't blame, you can't blame uh, what, what else? You can't blame the cost of it. You can't blame anything but yourself. And that's what I like about trading. With trading, you're more accountable, bro. The only person you could blame is yourself. You can't blame nobody else. With e-com, there's just way too much. You know, talking to suppliers, uh, getting the quality control fix, uh, getting your product, making sure they're shipping on time, making sure your customers are doing well, keeping up with customer service. It's a lot of work, bro. With e-com, like right now, dude, I was even also thinking about that. I was like, damn, dude, I would like to have another side business to make more money. But I was like, dude, honestly, like I wouldn't go back to e-com for me personally. I would just double down focusing on crypto because you're guaranteed to make money in this space, man. And I don't like saying that guaranteed, but with all the all the red flags that I told you, even if you buy the dip, like let's say like even if you buy the dip on Solana or let's say you buy uh, some Dogecoin or some Chainlink and you spread your money, let's say you spread $10,000 on a lot of these top tokens, within one year to a year and a half, you're going to go ahead and have $100,000 off of your 10 grand. That's like almost a guaranteed, bro. I don't like using guaranteed, but it's almost a guaranteed. If you were to spread $10,000 across a lot of these tokens, let's say $1,000 each, you're going to go ahead and, and do a hunt. You're going to make a hundred grand literally without learning how to trade. So you don't even need to learn how to trade. Trade 
trading is more for active income. Like if you want to be making money right now, trading works. You could be averaging three hundred, a thousand dollars a day. But if you want to just not worry about anything, you're like John. I just want to go with my everyday life, not stress too much. I'm okay watching a live stream here and there, learning how you know support and resistance works how the Fibonacci retracement all I want to do is buy the dips you can literally spread ten thousand dollars all across the board and make a hundred K when the bull run begins you know what I mean less of a headache you don't have to worry about too much yes you might have to do a little bit of research but you don't have to worry about customer service <laughs> you, you know what I mean you don't have to worry about customer service and the thing with e-com is that most people, even if you get the courses or you go on YouTube, they're not going to go ahead and tell you what product they're selling. So there's always competition. Like even if your product is doing very well right now, maybe it's a seasonal product where, you know, it's only good for summer. It's only good for winter. So you have a lot of issues and you have Amazon FBA, which then you have to worry about storage fees. You have to worry about shipping costs. You have to worry about taxes uh, from the product being shipped uh, across borders. You have to pay border fees. You have to go ahead and pay an agent. So you're, you're talking about you have to spend over $10,000 plus to probably either break even or even make any money at all. So for me personally, that's that's why for me, I wouldn't be doing econ. Uh, that just for me personally. John Smith, how's it going, my guy? Yeah, I do have a, quite a few. I'll go ahead and show you right now. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of doing drop shipping, but the struggle is product research, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with you, man. Piff Daddy, the ETF was approved. That's what I heard, man. I'm thinking of putting 1K on Caspa and Myro and holding for some time. Yeah, I agree with you, too. Hey, hello, Crypto Queen. Look who's here, my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Two of my favorite YouTubers are here, Billy Blockchain and Crypto Queen. So shout out to her. Go ahead and show her some love. Uh, she's really good at what she does. I would recommend all of you to go ahead and check her out. Uh, she's really good with TA. She focuses a lot. I think ideally you, you started off with the Forex market, right, Nat? You still trade the Forex market now. Uh, she's really good. So I would recommend all of you to go ahead and, and show her some love. She's one of my favorite YouTubers as well. Billy Blockchain is here too, by the way. Go ahead and show some love to Billy Blockchain right now as well. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and show you my, my what my top tokens are, right? So go ahead and show some love to, to Billy Blockchain as well. Yeah, but uh, Steven, you know how you were asking about how, how to learn how to trade? I think Crypto Queen, uh, she, she's having a few courses too as well, I believe. I think she has a few things going on for her channel uh, that I'm also looking at buying. So, <laughs> yeah. I have no way associated or affiliated with her, but she's been she she's a she's a good friend of mine, right? She's a, a good virtual friend of mine that I learned uh, that I met in this space. So she has uh, some really good information, and I really do enjoy what she has to say. So I think you know going and going through her channel, you'll definitely learn a lot, and I'm and I'm sure she's doing like some courses and stuff like that in the future of you if you want to go ahead and and learn from her. She's very very smart when it comes to trading. She's definitely a better trader than me. Only US 30 in the index. Okay, that makes sense. And crypto. Yeah, so she's focused on crypto too, chat. So uh, yeah, shout out to Natalie on that. And for everybody asking me, hey, John, so what are the tokens that you're bullish on, right? So these are actually the tokens that I'm bullish on. I actually have a list right here on my Discord, hot altcoins. And we actually have quite a few right here. Uh, we have SEI. We have Bonk, which is more of a meme token. ICP, which is uh, decentralized computing. And uh, we have Sol, which is obviously super hot. We have TIA, which is Celestia. We have TRB. We have ARB. We have ASTR, which I don't know what this one is. Uh, Metis, you know, I was just showing you about Metis, how Metis is going to be one massive thing. You even saw it with this Twitter article that we talked about how a lot of uh, VCs are investing into Metis blockchain. AVAX, ONT, uh, Analos is a, a meme token. Stats, it's a, like another meme token if you want to be in it. Uh, dog with a hat, another freaking meme token, and Beam. Beam's been something I'm very, very, very bullish on. And file. So like, if you were to ask me, hey John, I have a thousand dollars. Where should I spread my money across? Uh, I would go ahead and head over to the Coin Market Cap, and I would go ahead and put money on not financial advice. <laughs> I would put money on Crypto.com. I would put money on XLM. I think XLM's super, super bullish. I would throw in some money on file. That's very bullish. Caspa, I would throw some money on that. I think Caspa is kind of like some 
that's some very high levels dude i mean it's literally pumped like freaking crazy and uh, that's kind of the only thing i'm concerned about like if there's going to be some sort of retracement but yeah casp is super super bullish has pumped over sixty thousand percent and uh, celestia these are a little bit higher prices uh, but my best bet would be Kronos, bro. Like, I'm super bullish on CRO. I think CRO is, is going to be something that's going to be very big. SEI, for people that are like, hey, John, what could be the next, you know, possible Solana killer? This is SEI. So if you actually go to their website right here, you actually go all the way down. And they actually compare all the other blockchains. So you have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, you have Solana. And SEI has the biggest uh, transaction through uh throughput or whatever it's freaking called and they're at 20,000 OPS which is pretty quick I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> and we have the transactional finality which is 380 ms which I believe is milliseconds so this thing's baiting Solana by by long dude and we already have big infrastructures you know building on this we have Alexer which Alexer is a token that's heavily heavily uh, well, Coinbase is heavily invested in Alexa, so that's another token too. So what I always tell a lot of you, chat, it's don't overcomplicate any of this, right? A lot of these tokens have a lot of really good utility. The problem is which one's going to be the chosen one, right? No one really knows. The only way you can go ahead and find out which one could be potentially the chosen project would be the tokens that have a lot of money invested right for example people were very bearish on solana i was actually quite bullish even though i don't like solana i don't think the blockchain is that impressive but who am i to say that right solana has pumped like crazy so with that being said i think that alexa because there's a lot of money coinbase has a lot of money on alexa uh, coinbase is one of the top uh, venture capitals because you also have a coinbase uh, venture capital that they're heavily heavily invested in and you see alexa is with mastercard microsoft sushi swap a uh, kyber swap pancake swap so they're with these pretty big companies already man i mean look at that base which is uh coinbase's blockchain from my uh, from my understanding i literally had the team from coinbase reach out to me uh, to join their community and base so i'm going to be <laughs> posting a lot of com content moving forward on that but yeah i got a i got a message on linkedin from the the coinbase team um wanting me to join their, their community at base uh to go ahead and, and and contribute to base so that that's definitely freaking cool so i will be learning more about what base has to offer but alexa is uh one of the platforms that that uh coinbase is heavily heavily invested in. and you see investors dragonfly is a pretty big uh, venture capital polychain capital is really big binance as all of you know this one galaxy i don't know that one but i have heard of dragonfly a uh, coinbase ventures as i told you a uh, divergence venture so a lot of this big money is invested into these tokens right these are the tokens that you're not going to be hearing uh, in ma freaking massive media until they freaking pump right so this is what i would be focusing on is follow the money where is the money going right big money is obviously in these tokens what does that mean that means they're heavily invested. What does that mean? That they're trying to make money for the clients. What does that mean? That they're gonna freaking pump the project, bro. Uh, so just keep it very, very simple. I would say Alexa and SEI and crypto.com and XLM would be my top tokens, bro, to be honest. That, that's some alpha for some of you. I'll go ahead and share the, the links to all of that if you want. You're the best, crypto queen. Piff Daddy, Crypto Queen, no X A U S D. Thoughts on Cast and Mint Layer? I've never heard of freaking Cast and Mint Layer. Cast is in Caspa? Axler, Alexer? I don't freaking know what it's called, bro. Axler. I think there's two, right? There's Alexer and Axler. This is the one I'm talking about. Whatever the way it's pronounced. Potato, potato, it don't matter. <laughs> uh, that one's pretty bullish, I would say. And we also have, someone was talking about Helium yesterday. I know that's running on Solana. And I would say SEI, SEI would, would be the play, in my opinion. Oops, wrong channel. Uh, VeChain's very bullish. I'm very bullish on VeChain. Just the only problem is that VeChain has been like, VeChain has been playing too many games, bro, to be honest. Like, it's just a matter of when VeChain pumps. Uh, they are now putting money in the UFC, so now they're finally doing some advertising. So, yeah, VeChain's pretty good, too, but 
But V-Chain, I don't know, dude. I, I know V-Chain's gonna do something, but V-Chain kind of reminds me of freaking XRP, bro. It's like V-Chain has great freaking utility, but yet, like, V-Chain hasn't really done much. Like, like V-Chain really hasn't done anything from, from what... Dude, I used to be the biggest V-Chain maxi, bro. Like, straight up. Straight up, I used to be the freaking biggest V chain maxi, and the most it has done in a year, it has gone up 70 freaking percent, bro. And I was buying V chain at around, I think around this area right here back in 2021. I was buying V chain around here, and then we saw V chain pump as high as 23 cents, which I wish I would have sold, but I didn't because at the time I didn't know that there was uh, tops in the market. I thought it was going to continue to moon, like all the moon boys think. And uh, yeah, lessons learned back in 2021. But yeah, V Chain, nah, dude, v, v Chain is gonna do its thing eventually. But I don't think it's uh, it's gonna do anything as quick as the other tokens that I talked about. But I do, I do believe you should have some exposure to V Chain, man. How how much would V Chain buy me if I put in a thousand dollars to V Chain? Dude, that's good. Thirty three, thirty three thousand, thirty three thousand tokens. That's crazy, bro. I used to have over like three to four thousand dollars invest. Actually, I had multiple accounts. I even had an account with over thirty grand of, of V Chain, bro. And it just just didn't do much. Didn't do much. V Chain didn't do anything. So uh, let's see what it would be with three thousand dollars. Damn, dude. With three thousand dollars, that's actually a pretty good amount. Eleven thousand dollar. Uh, eleven thousand V Chain. Is it eleven? Yeah, eleven thousand. I think I used to have over 14, 27 thousand tokens. I used to have over twenty seven thousand or fourteen thousand V chain tokens. How much would that be? Would that be three grand? That'd be roughly about almost three grand, dude. I was such a freaking bull on V chain. I thought that thing was gonna go to a dollar. <laughs> But yeah, V Chain's pretty good, but I, I don't know about V Chain, bro. To be honest, I like V Chain, but I, I would throw in some money in V Chain, but I wouldn't really rely too much on V Chain. V Chain's super, super bullish, but I, I would have my best bet on Kronos. To be honest, I think Crypto.com is just gonna go ahead and continue to dominate this space. Helium, yeah, Piff Daddy. See, I remember because I, I got a couple. How are your Helium miners doing, by the way? Uh, they finally using their network for something. They have an unlimited cell phone plan for twenty dollars a month that runs off their network and uses T-Mobile network, and their network is not available. Nice. How is it though? Is 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 Helium's network pretty good? Because if that's the case, I have T-Mobile, and I wouldn't mind switching over to freaking Helium, bro. I would invest that much into V Chain. I have like one hundred and fifty dollars of it, but I'm not adding anymore. Yeah, see that that's what I'm saying, dude. I wouldn't, dude. I had. I think last bull run had over like thirty thousand dollars in V chain, dude. And let me tell you, man. <laughs> let me tell you, chat. It didn't do too well, bro. It didn't do too well. I was better off throwing thirty thousand dollars in Deutschcoin at the time. That's how I started learning about the power of meme coins, bro. I was like, dude, you know what? F these utility projects. <laughs> utility projects don't ever go up. And that's kind of the reason why I'm telling you, like, when it comes to these these uh, these altcoins. I would just go in with the long, long, uh, the long term mentality. I wouldn't go ahead and stick to like making a quick buck. If you want to make a quick buck, learn how to leverage trade or, or trade meme tokens, which is high risk. But what was the token that somebody was talking about? Someone told me about some tokens. Billy Blockchain, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, Myro is pretty bullish, but I don't know about putting a thousand on Myro. But yeah, it could be a yellow play. Uh, can you provide a smart contract for me, Steven? That'd be really, really helpful, bro. Even, even conk, Avon conk. How do you pronounce it? Oh, it all depends on the location. Helium miner is not good. Like it was when I first started, I was getting fifty dollars USD worth of hint per day. Now I get like fifty cents worth a day. I'm not really sure how much per day per miner honestly damn dude you were making bank then if you're making 50 bucks per day cisco kid how's it going buddy hope you're having a good one man i'm sure you've been working a lot 
Have you already took a look at Yodo? Can you provide a smart contract for Yodo? I think everything deleted from, from the last tokens we were talking about, yeah. Everything has deleted. Can you provide a smart contract, please? Is there a token called SEC? Oh, save Elon coin? <laughs> you can't make this thing up, dude. MMF. Uh, can you actually look at Myro? The chart looks a little iffy. I got in a low, but thinking of selling. Yeah, Myro, Myro, Myro. Myro's at 69 million market cap, bro. That's insane. Yeah, it was $50 per day per miner when hit was like $40 each. Then the price dump. So, yeah, I, I should have sold my HNC instead of holding it. LOL. It is what it is, bro. You lesson learn, right? We we live and we learn. We've all gone through that ourselves. Uh, I've gone through it myself as well, especially with last bull run. So, uh, I think there's just lessons that we get to learn as as investors and traders. But I remember the hype with, uh, with miners, with helium miners back in the last bull run. And I was actually looking to buy one, bro. But the problem I had was that all the miners were sold out at the time. So it just seems like also we have to under also understand is like, are we actually going to have the kind of bull run that a lot of people expect like we had last year? Because last year what we had was or the last bull run we had, we had we had freaking uh, the, the scandemic going around and we had easy money flowing in. So everybody was getting unemployment checks and they were getting some fat checks and they were just gambling into the market. So the question is, is will we have the same effect in crypto and can we reach the new highs like everybody's expecting? Because, you know, last bull run we had unemployment you know, checks going through the roof. Uh, can we have another black swan event where, you know, they start pushing unemployment back? I, I, I do believe we will go ahead and see a lot of these corporate layoffs going in, going into, um, going into this year, which we are already in this year. And I do expect a lot of more uh, bank runs as well, like we did last year. So I do expect a lot more people to start losing their jobs, especially those corporate jobs. So um, I, I do expect unemployment to, uh, to go up higher too. So who knows if we're going to have the same kind of market. But now that I realize it's like, dude, we're, we're actually in different markets, right? I even remember when I was in my sales job, dude, like, dude, my, my quota was like literally at the time because like we were all hitting quota, like per salesperson, I was at least selling like half a, like at least over a hundred thousand plus per month at a retail store jewelry bro jewelry and this is when freaking unemployment money was coming in through the freaking roof so like everybody thought that retail wasn't as dumb dude and instead like everybody that started getting money from unemployment just started buying dumb things you know they started spending their money on clothes they're buying jewelry and dude i'm telling you i literally i ended up the year on the on 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 the on the scandemic year with over per month i was selling over a hundred thousand plus Per month, two hundred thousand, uh, and and literally together as a store, we were racking up over a million a month in Coda, doing jewelry sales, bro. We're not talking about selling high end freaking like APs and any of that, dude. I'm talking about freaking like selling ten thousand dollar rings, four thousand dollar rings, six thousand dollar rings, and just imagine how much it would take to how much it would take for you to sell in order for you to have those kind of days, right? When you have those kind of freaking days in, in retail, it's like, that's freaking insane, bro. I mean, it would make sense having, you know, a kind of quota like that on a car, you know, you're selling cars, you're selling high luxury jewelry, but I was, I was selling jewelry that wasn't the most expensive things that we carried at the store, bro, at the jewelry store were probably Rolexes. And I sold a few of those and a few chains at like probably 10, like $20,000, but I wasn't selling a Rolex every day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, imagine that. So like, the question is, can we have the same inflow in the market? Uh, because last time we're comparing it, we had unemployment money coming in. And that's how people were freaking buying all these meme tokens too. But all crypto crashed since, so who knew? 
exactly dude that's why i bought a couple of miners from scrapplers for over 1k because i was making 50 dollars a day so i figured no big deal dude that's freaking how many how many miners did you have man that's freaking insane because i remember dude that like yeah the miners were probably like what like sec password bro you can't make this thing up 350,000 market cap dude this is comedy i'm gonna check my 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 what my my crypto wallet see if i have like at least five bucks or something like that to throw in see let's see what my wallet is looking like today on bond bot after getting demolished in this space let's see buddy the Degen hours. I have ten dollars worth of soul, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter SEC password right now. Uh, let's see if this thing dumps. I'm gonna yellow ten bucks, bro. Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and yellow ten dollars, chats. Are you guys ready? Let me go ahead and pull out my Telegram real quick. And we're going to go ahead and do some DGEN plays live as this thing continues to drop. <laughs> Dude, this thing's dropping so freaking quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like as soon as we jump in, this thing's probably going to drop to like 100. 100,000, dude. You can't make this thing up. What the heck is going on with my Twitter, bro? I mean, my Telegram. Not responding. Okay, we got it, chat. We got it. You guys ready, chat? You guys ready? Are you guys ready? We're going to go bonk bot. We're going to go ahead and type in the smart contract. We're going to go ahead and buy. We're going to buy some tokens. This token was not found. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Okay, you guys ready? Ready like Freddy. We're gonna do 0 0.05. See if this thing goes through. It actually went through. Nice. So I just bought some freaking, um, some freaking Gary. Gary's password. Hopefully this thing could turn into a million dollars chat. <laughs> hey, so much for not buying meme tokens, right? I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. $10. What's going to happen? Actually up quite a bit. Let's see. I have, I have a net worth of 0 0.10. What does this mean? What's my balance? Okay, my balance is 0 0.0151. Dude, look how much I threw money into the Satoshi one. I threw in over freaking 2.6 soul, bro, which is now worth $3. You can't make this thing up, bro. You can't. Let's see what this this thing's up. I'm up nine percent profit, so I'm already in profit. So that's actually a pretty good play. So shout out to anybody who gave me that play, dude. <laughs> yeah. If I make a million off of this because you gave me a gave me this play, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. You heard it. So let's cross our fingers. John makes a million dollars off this SEC password. Um, but yeah, there we go. Threw in about five bucks. Already up in profits, like five dollars. Yodo. Uh, it's uh, it's a meme token, bro. It's it's probably a rug pull, but I, I just put in like five bucks. <laughs> we'll see how freaking it goes, dude. I, I don't know, people. It's just the freaking the the narrative behind it, right? 
we're, we're gonna go and see what it is but yeah dude i agree with you so if you're making 50 dollars per day on mining freaking helium dude that's that's freaking insane that's that's freaking insane i had a buddy of mine that was mining caspa uh before it took off and it was uh last year and he was telling me he was making about 110 dollars a day or 120 and to maintain the miners he was paying a very low fee a month like probably at the max 200 bucks or 100 bucks a month so <laughs> dude you can't make this thing up now the next top token is called hacked this thing's at a 5,000 market cap. Gary got clowned. <laughs> oh, man. This is the reason why you got to love this freaking space, bro. It already probably did a rug, too. What is this one? T-H-O. Tho. Tholana, dude. You can't make this thing up. Almost at a... a, a what is that? A million or a 100,000? I think it's a million market cap. Crazy, 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 crazy. Yeah, so Gary123... This thing's already freaking pumping like crazy, dude. 793 holders. Uh, these are kind of the kind of tokens you, you want to th not financial advice, throw your money in. I'm telling you, this is a dumb narrative, bro. It's, it's always a dumb narrative of like what you think people will not be not be willing to do. And people actually do it. And, and then the tokens pump. Like, look, I'm going to refresh my wallet. And we're going to see how much. We're already 32% up in profits. I put in four dollars i think and it's already worth six bucks so you, you can't make any of this up right so i'm gonna go ahead and sell my satoshi the thing that's freaking now worth only three dollars i'm gonna go ahead and get my little fix i'm gonna get my little my my little meme coin fix bro i'm gonna sell all my tokens which is only three dollars and maybe i could turn it into a million I'm being sarcastic, by the way, chat. But, you know, anything's possible, as I say. This thing has pumped over 43,000%. Anyways, if you're watching this pre-recorded chat, I wouldn't recommend any of you to buy any of this. Uh, typically, I always hear people say, hey, John, you know that token that was in your live stream? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, yeah, so guess what? I'm like, what? Well, that token dumped as soon as you stopped streaming. And I was like, damn, dude, that's crazy. Never thought I'd have that kind of effect because we're a very small channel. But apparently, people do it. So... I wouldn't recommend any of you buying these tokens if you're watching this pre-recorded. Be very, very careful. Maybe by the time you're watching this, the token has dumped, you know, as, as we're seeing this dump right now happen. I'm up over 30 freaking percent on this token. Six dollars. Wow. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is how you do some degenerate trading, bro. So we're going to go ahead and buy a little bit more. Let's see how much how much Solana do we have? We have 0 0.04, so we're going to go ahead and buy some more of this. We're going to buy some more. And hopefully we can wake up to a million dollars. Okay, we're going to buy some. Oh, okay, I just bought a little bit more. So now let's just stop looking at this and hopefully we can wake up to a million dollars. That, that's that's what I'm hoping we do. Yeah, so now we're back to eight bucks. So hopefully we can wake up to a million bucks um, in a couple hours. Bro, what is the SEC PW worth now? It has gone up 10K since you bought it. Uh, it's only well, my percentage is only up like 30%, bro. But this, I think this thing might pump to a million low key. Um, I, I wouldn't suggest you buying any of this if you're not using a bot, though. Like, if you're using radium, I wouldn't suggest buying this directly. Like, I would only recommend buying this with uh, with a bot, and I wouldn't recommend throwing no more than a hundred dollars. But, dude, but look at these people, these people are going freaking crazy. Like, people are getting freaking greedy right now. Like, SEC password, like, you can't make this thing up. So, I mean, honestly, I already lost a lot of money on, on these projects. Like, I just saw my wallet, dude. Uh, I'm, like, probably negative, like, seven soul or something like that. Because, like, that's that's the money I was trading with uh, the last couple weeks. And I lost all my freaking money on these dumb freaking tokens. Like, look at this one. I threw in how much? I put 2.6 soul on this one. And then I threw in... What else? What else did I freaking do, bro? What what uh, What other dumb thing did I do? I did something else that was dumb, bro. Let's see. 
We have Satoshi. We have Rock with a hat. I don't know where the heck that money went. It just disappeared out of my wallet. I never even sold it. I, I think I'm putting like 10 bucks on that. How much did I put on this, dude? Yeah, rock dog with a hat. See, I threw in at one hundred fifty-one thousand market cap. Zero point zero eight soul on that one. I've I've been taking nothing but L's on these, and then I also took a small L on Kush coin. I was up slightly, took an L on Kush coin. Bird, I sold Bird. Uh, shout out to Billy. I think he gave me like a dollar, and that thing turned into fourteen dollars. So I made some money on that. Uh, this one, as you see uh 0.12 sold this one right here i threw in quite a bit which is now worth nothing yeah dude i, I got racked a lot on these dumb tokens it's the reason why i'm not meme coin trading anymore but yeah i don't know this thing could probably go to a million but i wouldn't i wouldn't put my hopes up on hopes up on this i'll probably throw in no more than 100 bucks you can just tell the greed of what's going on, man. I mean, look at these freaking massive buys. Like, who in the right mind throws in, like, 500 bucks into these tokens? Yeah, but this thing, look look at this thing, bro. This thing's just freaking pumping like crazy. Who shared that token, by the way? Who was it? It was Steven, you degen. Uh, bro, Thelana's off the chain, been in since day one. Take a serious look into Thelana. Funny community. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I want to buy twenty dollars uh, bucks worth. I don't want. I don't mind gambling twenty dollars. Uh, yeah, dude. So, so for for uh, for the do you have Telegram, right, bro? If you have Telegram, it's really easy to set up and use this thing right here. You can just go ahead and open up this link right here on Bonkbot, and uh, that's how you actually set it up it's very very freaking easy bro you literally just go right here you create your freaking wallet which i won't show you my wallet because it has my my key phrase and all that uh, not that it matters anyway this is a burner wallet but it's really really simple to use you, you go to home and you just go to wallet and you can just put your pin and everything it's it's really really easy to use bro you literally just post a smart contract and you just click the amount you're gonna buy i'm gonna be making a video on on that very very soon GM fam is about to announce utility next week. Do I have GM fam? Hey, can you provide the smart contract, bro? It's because I had a lot of tokens get deleted on my list, unfortunately. GM fam. Maybe I can find it. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, GM fam is a very bullish token, by the way, chat. This is a pretty bullish one. Oh, yeah, this thing's about a pump. This thing's about to pamp it up. This thing's about to do a massive cup and handle pattern. We're just gonna to the moon. Deutsche one too. Seven million, dude. That's insane. Right, so it was a thought. What is it? Tholana. Tholana. Tholana, let's see, where the heck is Tholana? Uh, 838,000 market cap. Don't tell me this thing literally just came out today. There's no way. Oh, it came out a few days ago. This chart looks weird though. Yeah, this is a little funky chart. Tholana, let's go ahead and see what they're about. Tholana, buy Tholana with the baby. Hit the baby. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Still understand how people wake up one day and like think about this. Like, what goes on through their mind? Hey, Candy, how's it going, girl? Long time no see. How you been, by the way? Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Long time no see. The SEC hack, dude. That, dude, that's what we're actually talking about. This is a funny thing. They actually came out with a 
with a token called Gary123, because I guess that's what they guessed your password was. Or they're just making a fun joke of them. I, I literally just entered a, a, a 300,000 market cap, and this thing already has pumped like crazy, dude. I, I'm already up 54%. I only put in about like five bucks. <laughs> Uh, so Steven, if I make a million off of this, you're gonna get ten thousand dollars, right, buddy? Because he gave me this alpha. So let's cross our fingers that I can make a million off of this. A million. If I could turn five dollars into a million, you're getting ten thousand dollars sent to you. I don't know what's up with freaking Dex tools right now. It's freaking tripping. How's everything with you, uh, Candy? How's uh, how's how's your mom? How's your brother? How are you doing? Long time no see. Elon tweeting Deutsche coin to the moon after the chaos. No way! I have to go ahead and look into this, dude. This is just getting juicy. After an ETF, like getting freaking the SEC Twitter hacked, freaking Deutsch. Uh, what is it? I was gonna say Deutsche Elon. <laughs> uh, Elon tweeting about this. Like you can't make any of this up, bro. It's it's actually quite funny. Dex tools. Let's head over to Dex tools, man. Let's, it continue to show me more tokens, chat. By the way, uh, I don't know why the charts are looking freaking nasty right now. There you go. Shout out to Slow Community too. These guys are freaking been killing it lately. This thing's about a rip. Look at that percentage right here on freaking Gary. I think this thing's gonna go to a million, bro. Like, not financial advice, but this thing's going to go to a million. <laughs> I entered at around 200,000 and 300,000 market cap. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Let's look at Elon's tweet. Elon Musk. Good night, Ryan, by the way. Elon Musky, here you go, E. I gotta see that tweet and laugh. If anybody has a tweet, I, I want all of you to freaking. Who the heck is Deutsch designer, bro? Oh, he's a designer at Deutsch coin. What a sick ass food, dude. This guy got to meet freaking Elon Musk. That's funny, man. I, I, I wish I could really find that tweet, but you can't make any of this up. Oh, his and it is replies. Uh, let me go ahead and share the address for Gary. Ooh, this thing's about to hit 500,000 market cap, dude. It's freaking insane. Uh, not financial advice, chat. Don't get into these tokens. Don't get into these crazy, crazy. Ooh, this is freaking insane. It's popping. I wish I had more money in this, bro. This would have been already like $300. Dude. Five dollars into sixteen dollars. Hey, <laughs> we're actually making money now. Let's see if this thing can surpass six hundred thousand. I think it will. I, I think low key it will hit six hundred thousand, dude. This thing's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think this could probably be like over a million. But as I mentioned, don't throw in, don't throw in no more than a hundred bucks, bro. I threw in only five bucks, so that's all I freaking had after losing over seven hundred dollars two weeks ago. Uh, that's what I recovered five dollars. Can you believe that? Imagine losing all your freaking money only having five bucks left Story of my life man Slow is a keeper. I agree with you hundred percent Elon tweets is in his replies I already funded my wallet and I'm ready to buy lol uh, Yeah, I tried using the bonk bot dude guardian Fox check it out. It hasn't launched yet, but it's looking great uh, How do I check it out? Uh, we're buying this on on uh, what what is this dex called? Radium. This is Solana meme token that just came out. Uh, SEC password Gary one two three. Slow llama. Uh, Candy, can you go ahead and share the Guardian Fox? Like, is it a link, a website link, or something? 
I missed you, by the way. How you been? Candy always disappears on me. Let's see. Let me go ahead and refresh this real quick. Okay, this thing's dumping, chat. I think the sky's falling. It's over. <laughs> so llama. I like this one. I like the name to it. 152,000 market cap. It looks like it's finding some sort of bottom. So I, I would wait for this thing to, to find its bottom. But I like the name. So llama. I don't know. It sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like right now it's currently finding its bottom. It's a pretty cool logo, I'm not gonna lie. So Llama 2024. I mean honestly with these tokens with such a low market cap, like throwing a hundred bucks, worth it low key. Okay, you're trying to get me the site. Awesome possum. Hey, watch this thing just rug pull live. This thing's gonna be so freaking funny. Yeah, continue to chill, chat. Well, I mean, we're already. Oh snap, we're already almost two hours into this live stream. Hey Glenn, what is this NFT you have? What is this sock NFT you have? It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going on. Any more comments? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and wait for Candy to do her thing. Awesome. Awesome possum. Let's go ahead and see what she shared. Galaxyfox.io. Okay, what is Galaxy Fox? Multiply your income with G Fox. Sensation. I don't know why they sound so familiar, dude. Oh, it's these launch pad tokens. How many stages do they have? They sold 97%, remaining 57. They've raised already over 2 million tokens. Insano. Cool. I mean, I, I don't like the... the I, honestly, I don't like... The, the meme tokens that are pre-sales like this uh but I, I would definitely say that it's, it's probably worth throwing a couple hundred dollars in here I, I wouldn't go all in probably like no more than 300 bucks onto these onto these like tokens like this and then as soon as they you know they go live just just dump your tokens that, that's what i would do not financial advice it just kind of reminds me of like the wall street wall street bats or whatever that token was There's another token too that I was looking at that, that was doing pretty pretty well. I forgot what the token's called. Let's see. Solana docs dev and they are serious. It seems like Salama man. I think eight stages. Let me find out. I have a friend that's in it. Nice. Thanks, man. I figured it out. I'm in Bonkbot 
we now can be millionaires together tomorrow morning. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's freaking go. I'm glad you were able to figure it out, bro. It's a very easy platform to use too. Uh, that's what I like about it. So let's let's see if I'm a millionaire. Okay, no, I'm only twelve dollars now. I have a little bit of Solana in here in my wallet that I'm actually looking at. I have about like six bucks, bro. Um, so I'm gonna try to match you with what you put in. I think you say you put in like twenty bucks. So I'm gonna probably do very something very very similar. I have about six dollars in my wallet. This is after losing all my freaking money. So this is how much money I have left after losing all my freaking money. So let's see how much money we could recover, right? I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this swap right now. See if we could recover any freaking money. And we're gonna sell this token into Solana. Okay, and there you go. Four bucks. Okay, I'm swapping my tokens. Oh, you only put in 10 bucks? Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, to buy this, you need to go to Radium or use a bonk bot. So this is the this is the the link to use a bonk bot right here, uh, right here. This is the best way to buy tokens that move this quick, uh, because you're gonna get MEV bot attacked. So when you're using a bonk bot, it it, it helps to not get freaking dumped on like that. We're not dumped on, but get you know attacked when it dumps. So I'm up 77% now. So I now officially have six dollars in my wallet, chat. So let's see if uh, transferring this six dollars helps me make more money. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our bonk bot on our Telegram or our mobile device. Very very easy to use. You go over to home and you create your wallet. And as soon as you create your wallet, it's gonna require you to um, put some Solana in there, right? And it's going to tell you right here. Look, I'm going to show you how to do this real quick live. You go over right here. You go to your wallet. Once you create your account on BonkBot, you go over to wallet. And you see copy address. You copy this address. Let me see. Okay, I just copied it. And now what you want to do is you pull out your, your, um, your phantom wallet. Which for me is right here. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. My bad. Phantoms right here for me. Frick. Let's see if it works because I want to put my password in this dumb thing. Okay, I got my wallet. You guys see this chat? Or you guys don't actually see it. So let me go ahead and, and pull out my wallet right here. You see my Solana is $6. I now click send money. And now you put in the address that you got from the bonk bot. So after you get your, your you create your bonk bot account. So there's some alpha right here for all those that don't know. Go to home. You go to, uh, you got, you're gonna see this pulled up. You go to wallet. And you're gonna see this address. Copy this address, open up your Phantom wallet, and you can do this on your mobile device, right? You go to your Solana, and you wanna send your Solana to this wallet in order for you to buy the token, right? So now I'm put, pasting my Solana, and how much Solana do I have in here? I have 0 0.06. Let's see if that works. Let's see if that's enough with fees. So we're gonna get our money in, in seconds because Solana is very quick, right? So I just transferred $6 into my bonk bot. Uh, and now I have $6 right here on my wallets, right? So now we're gonna go back onto this page right here. And now what you wanna do is uh, we're gonna refresh this page and see if we got some Solana sent to us. So it looks like we probably do have some Solana now sent to us. We click on copy address on dex tools or whatever platform you're using you go over to your bonk bot and you place the smart contract on here put it in there and now you're going to click on buy x amount i'm going to go ahead and buy 0 0.07 and we're going to click and wait for it to say transaction completed if it doesn't complete that means you don't have enough gas money or something and it says confirmed so i just bought more Gary Gensler, I now have $21 worth and I'm up 77%. So 
Um, hopefully we can turn this into a million. Um, hopefully the title of this live stream will be uh, John turns uh, twenty dollars into into a million dollars. Um, let, let's cross our fingers that happens, right? Just know this is a high risk, high reward. Uh, typically when we see tokens pump this high, uh, they usually rug pull. So if you are watching this pre-recorded, I would not suggest any of you to jump in because it's very, very freaking volatile. And well, what you do now is just wait. Um, well, we'll see where things go moving forward. But yeah, hopefully all of you enjoyed that that quick little little way of how to use bonk bots. Nice 16% profit. <laughs> what is a ticker? The ticker is uh, SEC password. Or I think Gary123. Gary123, sorry. <laughs> you would have put in 10k yeah uh, too easy bro it's too easy see see this is not usually a common thing with these tokens uh, i'm not going to say that this is super super common if you find the right one you could make very quick money but if not then you, you just get wrecked you just lose your money and that's what i'm saying i put in seven soul for 700 dollars about two weeks ago just to lose my money in three seconds bro you can't make this thing up you can't make it up and that's what i'm telling you like it's uh it, it's fun but it's 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 such a gambling thing bro like that's why i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest throwing no more than 100 bucks if you really do want to throw money into this but yeah we're, well hopefully we can we we can wake up as millionaires tomorrow chat hopefully if anybody joined us on this play but you're seeing big buys bro i mean look at this 400 freaking like a lot of people don't understand but anything over a hundred dollars plus on these solana meme tokens is kind of a lot of money like 400 bucks it's almost like if it was a thousand dollars and above like 400 dollars transactions are almost like a thousand dollars they they move the market bro like 400 500 300 200 move the market anything over 300 bucks really moves the market a lot uh, so hopefully this is not the collapse because <laughs> this thing's kind of like the uh have you ever played crash on like stake on the gambling platform or like you're waiting for it to see how high it goes before everything just dumps and collapses to zero this is kind of the same thing that we're looking at right now this thing could just literally just zero in front of our faces which would be uh, a really good lesson for all of us to learn why we shouldn't be uh, dumping our money into meme tokens like this yeah look, look at that thing's dumping hopefully that someone buys a dip uh, Cisco's kid says very educational John thanks a lot I hope I hope you were able to catch on to that uh, everybody and you too Cisco I really do appreciate every one of you um, I'm, I am going to go ahead and make another video in the future on how to use bunk bot um, and I want to do that as pre-recorded right because I, I think it's if you're buying tokens like this chat you see how quick this is moving this is the the minute chart this is a minute chart. Do you see how quick this thing is moving? Like this thing is super, super volatile. So if you're in there trying to buy it on Jupiter and Radium and like all these platforms, bro, good luck buying a token like the way this thing moves. You're, you're not going to be able to buy it. This thing moves way too freaking quick and uh, you're going to get freaking sandwich attacks. Uh, so when you saw that, when we were just using the, look at this $1,200 order, bro. When you start seeing these bonk bots or sorry, my bad when you um when you start seeing this massive volatility uh, the bots are the best way to enter these positions that's like the only way in my opinion to go ahead and enter your positions when it comes to these tokens dex view let's see dex view why am i in this dude what is going on all right there you go dex view i like using dex view or dex screener yeah it doesn't show it see some platforms won't even share show the the smart contract like this one dexv doesn't show it let's go over to dex screener yeah but i wouldn't suggest no more than 300 dollars on these meme tokens i would say 100 bucks at the most you can make some very nice money like i think billy threw in like 60 bucks on like your mom or something like that and he made over 300 dollars so this thing has pumped uh, this thing's crazy. Okay, this thing has been dumping a lot now. Do you see how we went to 500,000 market cap and now we're at 352? This might be the top. <laughs> I, I think the, the top has been has been reached, chat. Uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest any of you buy now. I think the top has been reached. Let's see. This is the thing with this game, man. It's almost like musical chairs. We're going to see how high this thing pumps before it freaking crashes and starts coming down. So if we don't see any more buying pressure in the next couple minutes... 
this thing's over. If this thing falls below right here, around 2609, if it falls below it, we're, we're done. We're done. This thing has to friggin' reverse, bro. We have to see a reversal like this in order for this thing to continue to go up. Or, or else this is the this is the beginning to the end, chat. This thing might just go. Whoosh. Welcome to meme coin sect. <laughs> the meme coin space, bro. Where everybody starts getting greedy and starts losing a lot of freaking money. So let's let's cross our fingers and hope. We get a reversal very soon on this. Yeah, dude, uh, it, 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 it dumps quick, bro. It dumps and it pumps quick. Like, let's look at our portfolio. I was up $20. Let's see what it's worth now. I'm a little scared. I'm going to refresh it. $16. So I'm only up 7%. So this thing might go ahead and pump one last time. Let's see. Cross our fingers we do. Dude, if I could turn even like 20 bucks into like over a hundred and something dollars, that's going to be pretty cool. Well, I mean, technically it turned $5 into $15, I think. So that's like a what? A 3x right there in like a couple minutes? So imagine if you're throwing in like a hundred bucks. There's a reason why like Solana meme tokens are so lucrative, bro. You can make so much freaking money very quickly. But the chances of that happening... Yeah, you gotta find a quick token that makes you a lot of money. We'll we'll see if this thing still has enough room to pump, has any more pumpamentals, which I think it will, dude. I mean, Gary one two three. Who wouldn't buy a token called Gary one two three? Like this is a good token to throw all your life savings into it. Yeah, I, th I think this token was just released recently, dude. Yeah, it was released about an hour ago, dude. Uh, so sometimes these tokens have a time live of about an hour, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, uh, sometimes a day, sometimes a week. If this thing goes on for like a day or two, bro, like this thing's going to be so freaking bullish. Like like we're going to make a, a decent amount of money. If this thing could surpass a million market cap and continues to go up, this thing's going to be the play. And we could probably see this thing breaking past like 10 mil if it hits 1 million though. Um, but we just got to see the traction. Uh, we do have the freaking uh, the ETF tomorrow. So we'll see how this thing picks up. But look at these big buys, bro. $400 back to back. Like, look, this thing is about to reverse soon, I think. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it dumps. Maybe it's just a pump and dump right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes right now. Yeah, dude, people can make tokens in like literally like a second and these things pump. I'm telling you, it's because of greed in the market right now. People are willing to put their money on anything. They're willing, they see a new token come out, they'll throw in a couple hundred bucks because I'm telling you, greed is through the roof. This is the reason why I'm quite bearish with what's going on in the market. Black Rangers shared a token. Let's go ahead and see what this token is. Well, good luck to all of us, guys. Good luck to all of us. Hopefully we become millionaires. By the end of this week, baby dragon. Yeah, the baby tokens, you've been hitting them on spot on, bro. 1.72 million market cap. This is about to hit 2 million. Damn, dude. What price range did you get in? This thing was just created back on the 4th. So about four days ago. See, it has pumped like crazy. The baby dragons. I'm assuming this is from the original Solana Baby Dragon, right? Yeah, this thing's, uh, it's collapsing. Let's see. I think we might be over with this thing. Yeah, I think this, this thing might be done with. If this thing does not reverse anytime freaking soon in the next 10 minutes, this thing's done. This thing is officially done. Ooh, we went to 292,000 market cap. This thing's done already. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to Solana meme tokens. Yeah, I think this is this is done already. This this thing is dead. Yo, that would be crazy. Turn ten dollars to hundred k. It's possible because it only 
it's only an hour old yeah dude it, it's super po it's super possible to do things like that turning like ten dollars to ten thousand dollars but i think this thing might be dead already i mean i'm getting kind of the signs of what typically happens when this thing's uh unless this thing reverses right now this thing's still safe but if this thing doesn't reverse in the next 15 minutes and we're just seeing it continue to dump th this thing might be done with already this this token's gonna go whoosh, and it's gonna be like every freaking meme token that dumps forever bro oh well at least we tried at least we tried the four dollar challenge into a million dollars yeah it, that, that's the thing bro these narratives with these tokens move very very quickly so unless we reverse right now we're good but if not we're, we're gonna be officially dead but the thing is bro the thing is luckily we only risked only like 10 bucks i only put in like what ten dollars too because i only put in four four to five bucks i turned that into fifteen dollars i then turned in six and then i put in another six bucks which came out to like 20 something dollars so realistically i only risked 10 bucks so di so did you so uh, this thing's actually pumping back up uh, but yeah that, that, that's the thing with these tokens right here gotta be in it to win it yeah dude the thing is that i've noticed that you gotta put in like 20 to 40 bucks into like 30 different projects and then cross your fingers that you hit it big that, that's really the, the the straight alpha when it comes to to meme coin trading that's really the strategy a lot of people are like what is the strategy john it's like bro you spread a thousand dollars and you put twenty dollars in like 30 different tokens and just hope and cross your fingers that one of them is going to make you a million dollars just a little pullback. I don't know, Cisco. This, this is all things, dude. This is how like Solana meme tokens end. Like typically, with Solana meme tokens from the ones I've been in, I always like, oh, it's a pullback. It's a pullback. Let me buy the dip, and I'm over here buying the dip. Oh, dude, it's dumping. It's gonna pull back. I buy the dip, and I'm over here buying the dip, and eventually this thing's dead, and it never recovers. That, that's typically what happens with these Solana meme tokens. <laughs> demand at ten dollars you don't think it's over black ranger i don't know dude it, it just gets signals that we're over a anybody down to play fortnite tonight anyways by the way i'm gonna go ahead and end the live stream chat i'm already two hours into the live stream i'm gonna go ahead and take a break and watch some youtube learn let's see what the other traders are saying and and i'll go ahead and catch all of you later on today so uh, make sure to like comment and subscribe Hope all of you learned a lot today. Let's see what the news brings us tomorrow with the ETF. I think it might get approved. I don't see why not. And I do want to go ahead and say thank you, everybody, for tuning in to today's live stream. Thank you all. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you are brand new, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I also will recommend all of you to give me a follow on Twitter. Send me a direct message if you have any questions. And on Discord, feel free to go ahead and join my Discord completely free where I go ahead and share alpha which is at no cost to you, right? No cost to you at the moment. So I would definitely encourage all of you to go ahead and, and, and join in and enjoy it. Cisco said it was sarcastic. Of course it's dead. Yeah, it, it's dead, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll definitely go ahead and do, I'll do an update, bro, but it, it's dead, bro. Trust me, when, I, when you see Solana tokens like this, it's usually dead bro it's, it's usually dead so i have no hope for this but if this thing comes back i guess we'll have something to uh to be looking forward to if, if we see some sort of reversal like this but this thing's dead bro typically when we see a top like this uh, this is where like when new all-time high starts being made and everybody and the developers start selling the bags this is the reason why we start seeing these major major dumps because yeah we see major buy-ins but then the developers are selling their bags and that's what i think is going on right now i think i think the team is selling their bags and it's causing this major dump to the market they're kind of exit liquidity at the moment so we'll see where things go but i have no hope for for gary um i had it's fun while it lasted uh i think it was like what 15 minutes five minutes <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes of fun so i appreciate every one of you make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll catch all of you on to the next stream appreciate everybody tuning in and uh as always make sure to support the channel by using my links down below bing x and mexi no kyc i would i would recommend bing x instead and uh if you could do kyc i would recommend bybit hope all of you have a wonderful day make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch all of you on to the